All right. Welcome back to another motor vlog. I know it's been a while, <clears throat> but um, some changes that have happened since my last video on the channel. Now I'm a little bit out of breath because I've just had to run with the bike down the street and bump start it, jump start it, whatever. See, that was um, quite fun. I've never, well, I've done, I've done it once. It was quite easy. It's a lot easier than doing a car, anyway. Um, so yeah, I am now monetized. <coughs> that means I've partnered with YouTube. Um, so it means basically no more swearing. Oh, well, cut, try and cut down on it. Um, yeah, there's a few other things that need to watch. Otherwise, my videos won't make money. Um, also, I'm going to be informing you about something that's happening in September. Which, it's good things for me, but it's not good things for you, watching the video. Um, that was a learn lorry. So as you know, I work full time at McDonald's. Which isn't the best career path. I don't go to college, I don't have a degree, I have a level 2 business administration qualification and that's, that's all, that's my name. So I need to, I need to sort myself out, I need to... I need to do something, because um, otherwise I only have minimum wage for the rest of my life. And personally it's not something that I really want to do. So, I've been into contact with some universities um, to see if I can get onto a university course with my level 2 business administration qualification. Turns out that I can't. What I'm going to have to do is go to college for one year to do an, an access to higher education course. Um, now, what I want to do is business management. Uh, now, there's not many places that do an access to higher education in business administration, especially where I live. Um, the, the closest one is Bolton, which is quite a trek, especially for a daily, daily commute. Uh, so I'm going to have to do that for a year. But what that does mean is that I'm going to have to go into part-time hours at work uh, and only work Saturday Sunday. Currently I'm doing five to six days a week, which pays for the motorbike, the car, and just random bits that I've got like my phone contracts and stuff. Um, so it means I've got a part-time contract, I can't afford to live. I need to get my monthly payments down by two to three hundred pounds a month. Um, which means I'm going to have to sell the motorbike, which I'm absolutely gutted. I absolutely love this thing, and people watching these videos know how much I love my bike. I really do absolutely love this thing. You know, it's, I, I, I will be absolutely gutted to see it go. I really will. It's going to kill me, but I need to focus on my future. You know, it's going to be a hard four years of my life. I'm going to stint for four years. I'm not going to have a motorbike for four years. I'm going to be stuck in my car for another four years. It's going to be difficult, it's really going to be difficult, but at the end of it, I'll be walking away with a bachelor's honours in business man management, which means I could basically do anything. You know, the highest you can go working for the company is a director. Um, so, with this qualification, it could lead me to become a director, and also be a director of a department rather than a director of an entire company. Um, I don't know how it works. Um, I've looked at other companies, the cooperative, which, you know, the co-op, them shops, 
I could be an area manager, if that's mean. So you've got like, so the, the way the career path works at co-op is that you'll start as a team member, then you go on to a team leader, then a shift leader, a shift manager or something like that. Um, then you've got the store manager, and then you've got area manager. So there's quite a lot, quite far to go to progress to get to being an area manager, but this is this would basically give me um, you know four years and up an area manager at COP. But that's just an example. That's just an example it showed on the you know what career pathways it could lead into in business management. Um, but you know there's many other ways I can go down. Um, some of them I'm not too interested in. But I quite like retail, I quite like working with people, so I do want to work in somewhere like the co-op. McDonald's don't really, you know, you can't really go straight to becoming an area manager. In fact, you can't really sort of become straight into a business manager. Uh, you start to go, go on to becoming um, an assistant manager first, which isn't the best money. Then you'll become onto a business manager. And then, you know, if you really got your job, then you'll become an area manager. Well, because there's so many stores, it's so hard to correct progress. So, I really do like working at McDonald's. I know I do not slate the, the job, but you know, I really do like working there. Um, sometimes it's the people, but the actual job itself, I love it. I love the company and I love how easy it is to progress there. You know, there's a friend that I, I work with, she's just become a manager and um, she's been working there three years. So, yeah, my, my stepbrother's uncle, he's the assistant manager there. He's been working there since he was 16. So yeah, I do like how easy it is to progress and I'm, I'll, I'll be coming on, I'll be I've been, I've been there a year now and I'm just about coming on to a crew trainer. Um, I'll be becoming a crew trainer in April, hopefully. So there's coming to me to train up the new starters. Train them how to put meat down on the grill and that. I'm doing the paperwork, so I've done it. So yeah, um, my plan is to go to Bolton College for one year to do a, an access to higher education in business management. With that, it will allow me to do a bachelor's honours degree in business management, and I'm thinking of doing that at Manchester Metropolitan University. I've just got, literally just got what it takes to, be, to uh, oh, I'll just get involved. Yeah, I've literally, literally just got what it takes to get me onto this access course. It's crazy. So you need a C in English and a C in maths. And you need to show, you know, you need to have like, um, basically you need to go into an interview and show that you can actually, you know, you know you're actually learn and you want to learn. And I think I've probably, uh, yeah, I definitely have what it takes, you know. I'll be going in there and I'll be like, yeah, so I really like working at McDonald's and I really want to progress. I want to become a manager and I, I think I'd love to do that sort of role. You know, store manager or something and they'd look at that and think, yeah, he is willing, he, he is determined, he, he does actually want to do business management. So, you know, I've just gone the wrong way. <laughs> I needed to go on the ring road and I've gone into the city centre. Um, I don't know how to learn. I don't know how to get out until the ring road from here. Yeah, I do. I know where to go. It's because I'm got focusing on the video, not um, not the road. So yeah, it's it's gonna be worth it at the end. Um, that's even if I get into university. Hopefully, I, it's, it's, when I when I get my my head focused on something, you know, I am so determined and I get let down a lot. And I just really hope that this time, you know, I can I can actually do this. I applied to become a crew trainer, I didn't get it. Um, she's given me some targets, I've worked on them. She said April's the next thing you should, you know, I should be able to get onto that, that one. 
I applied to do a, an, a, a, an apprenticeship at McDonald's to become a business manager. Uh, that's doing business management at Manchester Metro Metropolitan University. I didn't get it. The manager wants for my application. I don't know why, because she said good luck, you know, have to let me know how it goes. And then she's turned around to the head office and said not, she's not going to support my application. So they've had to get thrown me. She's really, really disheartened me, but it is what it is. Enough. No, I will absolutely be gutted to get rid of this bike. I know it, will, it probably will kill me, you know, seeing it going, but I've got to focus on my career. Do I work at McDonald's and keep the bike for the rest of my life, or do I go to university and sell the bike, you know? It's a no-brainer. I've got to sell the bike. But, Think of it on the bright side, I've got all some of it. I've, got, I've still got six months with the bike. I've got to sell it. I think it's the 16th of August I'm going to sell it by because my insurance ends on the 16th of August. 16th of August. So that is my day to get rid of it. So if you're interested in buying a Yamaha Wiser F4125 with an Aquapix exhaust, some Oxford heated grips in a Yamaha Blue, you yeah, know who to contact. And you know what, if the opportunity arisen for me to sell it sooner, I probably would and just cancel the insurance. Um, if someone offered me three grand for it today, I would have, I'd definitely get rid of it today. Um, just because I need to, I need to get rid of it. I need to get my monthly payments down. I need to start saving up. But for me to save more money means keeping till August and not paying the cancellation fee on the final on the uh, insurance. Now, because it's on finance, I've got to sell the bike first and then pay off the finance, which means I've got three grand left on the finance. So I need to get free grand for the bike, which is a very high asking price. But now I don't mean I don't want to sound sound big headed or anything, but it's a YouTuber's bike, and I don't I don't and I know that might put the price up compared to another one two five because somebody's going to want a bike that's actually got a lot of content on rather than one that hasn't. And I don't know if that sounds weird or not, but I just you know if I was looking to buy a bike and. and and a YouTuber's backup sale who's you know has done 20 videos on it you know from picking it up I'd, I'd want to buy that bike because then I could you know look on these videos of the previous owner because it'd be a lot safer to buy this bike like people know it's been serviced because of my videos and it's been looked after it's been dropped and crashed because there's no crash videos on it there's no oh I got my bike sort of thing none of that and it's got an aquaperfect exhaust on it it's got the heated grips you know, people see they've took care of it, washing the bike and stuff like that. So I think I think three thousand pounds plus it's only six months old and it's only got one thousand nine hundred pounds on it. I think I could possibly just scrape three thousand. Either that or two thousand nine hundred. Because I know if if that wasn't on a YouTuber's bike and there was no like videos or history on it, probably only be worth about two 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 eight hundred two seven fifty something like that. I never knew that bike would probably. Work. I don't know where I'm going now. I have no idea where I am. I've lived around here my whole life and I've never seen this place. Stinks like shit. It's fucking well scuffy as well. Stay to it. Don't like it around here. Feel uncomfortable. Well, where am I going? Oh, I know what I've done. I've got... Yeah, I know what I've done now. I'll have to see where it goes because I don't know where it goes, but I know what I've done, I've took the wrong turn and well I've not took a turn and I've gone straight on rather than taken a turn and, uh, so I don't know where this road leads, no idea. But the bonus miles is there which means probably on the other side. Oh no, that's it. 
I've no idea. Obviously I'm a YouTuber now and I've just got monetized. I've got I'm growing. I'm enough to sell a bike. But um, you know, I could always become one of those fucking vloggers. Uni uni vloggers. But I don't reckon I'll take that last half. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've got the car, so I can still do the car vlogs, but they never seem to do any good. They they never do any good. There's too many car vloggers. Plus, I don't know what to do with modifying a car. I've always been into bikes. So I don't know what to do in modifying this. I'm gonna miss this. It's fucking dirty as well. So yeah, that's really what I wanted to say, but... I never really was towards Preston, but I thought, thought I'd go this way today. I think. Oh, that's my old driving instructor. <laughs> that's a new car, I thought it was. Actually, I'm going to pull over here and end the video. Oh, it's gravel, it's gravel, it's gravel, I don't fucking fall. I'm so scared of gravel. Right, so guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one, guys. See you later. Yeah.